Hey guys, James here, and today I'm going to look at some of the monsters, creatures, because I love those things, you know. Anything dinosaur, monster, creature related, I love it. So we're going to go through the, the base series of The Witcher 3. I've just finished the game. I love the game. Uh, put a few videos of, about it, so please check them out if you've got time. If, if it's not what you're into, you know, it's fine. You can stick to the ordinary stuff I, I usually show. So with the beasts, check it out. They got bears, dogs, panthers, the beast of Beauclair, who is absolutely 100% spoiler alert, a uh, vampire. And uh, he gets introduced in the Blood and Wine expansion. Uh, why he goes under beast, I'm still not sure, but anyway. Uh, wild boars, wolves. Check that out. Cursed ones. We have archospores berserkers which is almost like a crazy bear but it used to be a man uh, botchlings hilarious um kind of mission regarding this this creature but really disgusting how they're made uh the toad prince if you've bought the hearts of stone expansion this is basically one of your first first missions that you have to perform is get rid of this thing and there's obviously a story behind it so I won't go into detail about it, but we'll just take a look at him quickly. Ulf Heden. It's basically a werewolf, but he used to be a professor. And as you can see there, you know, they're vulnerable against some of the some different potions and oils and bombs and signs. So my advice is when you're playing the game, use go through this uh, bestiary and just literally find everything you can to defeat these things especially if you're doing the death march difficulty which uh, i just completed it was hardcore i couldn't have done it without using the oils potions bombs signs you know you can't just hack and slash it doesn't work like that uh going through the cursed ones last one here is werewolf okay let's go through the draconids it's my favorite they're basically dinosaurs aren't they check them out basilisks oh i love it they're so ugly uh, cockatrice also very ugly almost like a chicken mixed with a bat mixed with a dinosaur so pretty cool forktail it's kind of a dragonoid sort of looking creature that can fly uh, pretty hardcore pretty ugly royal wyvern uh, almost like a hairy dragon it's almost like a hairy forktail you know say that 10 times fast shrieker the silver basilisk yes it looks black i haven't hunted him yet give me a break okay i got all the others um slizzard and matriarch also quite disgusting he kind of shows up as far as i know i've only seen him on the tucson expansion so and he's just the ordinary slizzard like the song getting slizzard uh, dragon of fires doll uh, he shows up in a mission uh, not that difficult to kill you can lure him out with some sheep you know some bait wyverns also pretty pretty standard to kill standard stuff uh, elementor creatures elementa earth elementals fire elementals gargoyles golems hounds of the wild hunt ice elementals morose golem the, the apiarian phantom therazane all of them are fairly vulnerable to dimeridium bombs, okay? So that's all you really need to know. And then use the elemental oil. Uh, Hounds of the Wild Hunt. Stay clear of them uh, when they get uh, all bristly and static because then they're going to shoot out some ice from the ground. Uh, as for golems, just stay clear of them when they attack you. But for the most part, they're very slow and easy to kill. Ureneas, all these uh, griffins, harpies, melusine, they're kind of sirens and screechy flying creatures. Uh, Opinicus, Salma. This one, I kind of let her live in that mission, but you can kill her if you want to when you do finally uh, get a hold of her. She's a succubus, so. Sirens, uh, lots of these, they cling to the boat one or two arrows to the head and they'll fall off your boat <laughs> suck you by again we've been through that insectoids oh these are the worst arachnomorphs basically spiders pretty tough to kill because they're kind of quick and they run away uh, be careful when facing off with these 
armored uh, arachise. All of them look very insectoid, but also mixed with some kind of crab sea creatures. So, and dragon drones. Uh, very quick, spidery like creatures. Uh, if they hit you, they've got some horrible venoms and poisons. Not the easiest creatures to kill in the beginning, but later on they do get easier. And Drago workers, giant centipedes. These can be frustrating if uh, you're playing Death March. Uh, the advice is just try and trap them with. Try and trap them with the Yurden sign, and then they're much easier to kill. And don't hit them from the back because they're kind of shielded. Use just hit them from the front, take them head on. Heresy. A lot of these are just slashing attack sort of creatures and just stay out of the the way of their claws and just dodge as much as you can kick you more warrior kick you more workers these go in large groups so watch out pale widows again as the same with the giant centipedes you've got to be careful with these trap them with the urine sign and you should be good to just attack them uh, venomous arachise Highly venomous and yeah, just stay clear of their, their claws and don't let them bite you. Whatever you do, necrophages. Possibly the most annoying and most frequent in the game. Uh, Abaya. Uh, basically grave hags, yeah. Uh, pretty tough to kill. They throw things at you. Uh, it takes a lot of slashing to get them down. You can cut their tongues out and stuff. Al ghouls. Uh, very quick and aggressive can be self-healing so you've got to be careful drowners just annoying and always everywhere uh, great for getting xp though you can just kill them pretty much quite easily foglets basically they turn to fog uh, use the quin sign if you can use moon dust and then you can see where they're going it'll be much easier to kill Ghouls, also vulnerable against necrophage oil. So all these creatures, you can just make oils and attack them. I strongly recommend just making oil as quickly as you can. Grave Hag, like we've said, you've got to be careful with her. She throws mud bombs. Quite an evil little thing. Uh, Ignis Fatus. Sounds like someone I know. This ancient foglet. And he's a very powerful one, so you've got to be careful when you face off with him. Uh, Morn Tart, again a Grave Hag, and this one likes to feed on Rotten Remains though, uh, also not that easy to kill, she was a bit of a tough one. Uh, Rot Fiends, you can slash and hack these, but you've got to watch out when they start choking because they're going to explode and they can almost kill you, they're like, they become bombs essentially. Skurvers, uh, similar to Rot Fiends, they show up also in the uh, blood and wine expansion pack they're just a lot tougher and uh, when they explode just don't be near their spikes obviously spotted white this is quite an interesting one if you can try and cure him or her from this uh, curse of being obsessed with spoons it's a thing check it out play the game you'll love it water hags uh, if you're near water they pop out and uppercut you you got to be very careful with them Obviously, don't let them throw their mud bombs at you. Uh, whites, very clicky, ugly creatures that just, if you threaten it, it is going to attack you. Uh, not the brightest, so not that difficult to kill, in my opinion. Cyclops. These things are hardcore, pretty tough. A lot of uh, running away, slashing, bombing. Uh, Goliath, you can kill him with one shot to the eye. That's my recommendation, is just aim for the eye as much as you can with your crossbow. Uh, Hagab man. This one, I killed him just by slashing him, but you can use bombs as well. You can freeze him with the northern wind and get him. Here we go, the ice giant. Massive creature. There's a whole mission with him, and you've got to be very careful when killing him. He's not the easiest. It'll take you a lot of effort. Ice trolls not the brightest fairly tough on the swords as well to take out but you know it's a troll what are you gonna do you know it's gonna be tough work neckers these are quite annoying because of the the sheer number of the of them 
as it says, try and take out the uh, most aggressive as soon as you can uh, and let the ones who are avoiding you avoid you. Rock trolls, similar as with ice trolls, just take them head on. Uh, hack slash use Quen for when they hit you and attack you and throw rocks and you should be fine. Wham a wham, a similar story, only he just looks like a lava rock troll. Relics, chorts, they look massive, they look dangerous. But you know, a couple of bombs, uh, some poison bombs, some oils, you'll get him, don't worry. The crones, these take a bit of work, you face all three at once towards the end of the game. And eventually, you know, you can beat them. My advice is uh, the one that keeps coming for you, or the quickest one, attack that one the most. Uh, as you can see there, there's three of them. There's a large fat one that's quite slow, you can avoid her uh, pretty easily. But there's another one that's just always turning into crows and teleporting. Try and kill the quicker ones first and then go for the slow one. Doppler, basically someone who can shapeshift into a human. Not that dangerous until they turn into your double, then they become a little bit more hard work. But not impossible to kill. A fiend, uh, similar to a chort, just takes a lot of work, uh, a lot of patience, a lot of hacking, slashing, avoiding claws and oils. Godlings, not really evil. You can actually, they help you out with the game. Howler, again, uh, kind of similar to the Chort and the Fiend. Just a lot of hacking and slashing and throwing bombs. Uh, poison your blades, use poison bombs, you should be fine. An Imp, you can kill them if you want to. Uh, Usually, uh, I think you have the choice. You can either tell it to flee town or kill it. Um, it's up to you, but not difficult to kill. Kernan. Uh, this one can be tough and exhausting. You'll face them in the woods, and they tend to sort of sneak up on you and use the earth to their advantage. So just be careful. Uh, you'll see that you can use uh, Damaritium bombs on them. A Leshen as well, use a Demeritium bomb. Morvid, lots of hacking and slashing, but if you can use some them to freeze him or stun him, and also some Devil's Puffball, he should be fine. Uh, Shalmar from the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Yeah, this thing was annoying to kill. It's, it is a tough one. Uh, it's going to take a lot of rolling. It's going to take a lot of Quen. Uh, but if you use Ard, you stun him long enough to actually chop him up and slice him, so that's pretty cool. Shale Mars, stay out of the way of these. Uh, you can use Samum Bombs and use Ard, and you can stun them long enough to kind of hack and slash them. Uh, Sylvans, again, I didn't kill the guy, uh, but you can, you can just stun them. They're pretty slow moving, go around, hack and slash. Caretaker, what can I say? Also, uh, just make sure you've got Quinn enabled. Definitely like use some relic oil. Just avoid him when he's swinging that scythe. That's all I can offer you because the fight is difficult and tough, but you can do it. Woodland Spirit, uh, he uses the earth against you as well. Dimeridium Bomb, should take care of him. Spectres, Boghest, like a dog basically. Uh, but a little bit of spectre oil will take care of it. Devil by the well, usually usually showing up at night time, so that's the time to, to grab these creatures. Ethereal, you can use spectre oil and use a blizzard potion on him. Hymns, ooh, one I haven't faced yet. Jenny of the Woods, I'll have to go hunt them down. Jenny of the Woods, you face her pretty early on. Spectre oil should take care of him. The same with night wraiths. Just a little bit of spectre oil, moon dust, you can see them coming, you'll know when they're going to attack attack you. Yurden, try and trap them where they are. Noon wraiths, the same process. Just watch out when they go through you, it can really be bad. The penitent, luckily with penitent you can use more signs, just be sure to keep yourself uh, invulnerable with Quen. Plague maidens, spectre oil and Yurden, that's all you need. White lady, uh, moon dust and also the Spectre Oil and Yurden sign, the Wraith from the painting. All these Spectres, it takes a bit of slashing, a bit of dodging, you just gotta watch out. Uh, wraiths from paintings though, sometimes they use the paintings as portals, so try and destroy the painting if you can. And that's basically Wraiths in a nutshell. Vampires, 
Alpha Garkin. Oh, he's ugly. And uh, basically Vampire Oil, Moon Dust, Stun Bombs, and Black Blood, just in case they bite you and attack you. Alps. Uh, same again, just use uh, all... Same again, just used Vampire Oils, uh, Blood... Black Blood Potion, and Moon Bombs. The Brookside as well. It's the best way to do it. Detlef Funder Eretain, who... He was under Beasts as well, apparently. Uh, he's vulnerable against these. All Vampires. This one, though, the Ekimara, he actually cannot handle poison which is pretty useful uh Fleeder as well so many ugly different types gale this one liked to attack people who were drinking so he could be quite useful in real life actually uh, gherkin vulnerable against same moon bombs bad blood and vampire oil higher vampires just be careful when facing these ones like Catacan, these ones are fairly easy to kill, and if you use Moon Dust, you can see where they're coming from when they vanish and reappear. Uh, Photo Flatters, again, just like the the other Flader, quite easy to kill. Bad Blood and Vampire Oil. Uh, Sarasti, he's vulnerable to poison. The Bruxa of Corvo Bianco, like all uh, Bruxas, just use Moon Dust, Vampire Oil, oil Bad Blood, and Ruin. That's it guys for my video about uh, the creatures and beasts. Of the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt video. I know it was made, this game was made back in 2015, but I absolutely love it. And it's more just a pleasure for me to talk about it and talk about what I love. Uh, Thanks for listening, and I. Thanks for listening. Hope I didn't bore you guys too much, and see you guys out on the battlefield or in the gaming zone, whichever.
Uh, if you've never played this game, do yourself a favor. If you love monsters, creatures, dinosaurs, check it out. You're really going to enjoy it. Just give it a chance. Just play it for a couple of hours and, uh, you know, do some of the Witcher contracts. Chase down these creatures. You're going to enjoy it. I promise you, you'll really enjoy it. Uh, if you've played it before, just throw a like in there if you enjoyed it. Why not, you know? Like, there's, why, there's enough hate in the world, you know? Anyway, guys, that's it for my video. That's all for now. TTFN.